Hello there, my pretties. <laughs> that was stupid. Um, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm Lazy Bones, and on the last episode, we got vengeance. So much vengeance, it was so good. And in between episodes, I did a little bit of exploring. Uh, we did the... Uh, I went to the Fortress of Brachus Rex... Uh, that little area that, uh, dis discovered, that I discovered, uh, what episode was that? Was the, well, I think it was the Dragon the Witch episode. Yeah. In between episodes, I went in here and, yeah, it's a headache. It's a big headache. It's some crazy labyrinth filled with, uh, puzzles, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, I went as far as here this area there's this dude on fire and two of my party members got trapped somehow uh, you're supposed to press on this rock to unlock the door these guys got trapped and I moved my characters over here without realizing that these guys were moving and I got ambushed and I got destroyed it was horrible <laughs> it sucked so I did it over again and uh, <clears throat> there's this gargoyle you need to talk to uh, right in the beginning of this labyrinth and he teleports it here. My mistake was talking to this guy. Me and like talking to, st to statues, it's, it's a thing. But he's like, no! You're not Brachus Rex! So he sent me into the labyrinth, which sucked. Don't talk to this guy! Don't do this! I don't know if there's sweet loot in here or not. Because I didn't uh, finish it. But in here, I don't know, there's okay loot. It's not great. You're gonna fight this necromancer guy that keeps coming back to life. It sucks. I think after I did that, I consumed one of his soul jars because it uh, showed me, it, it, it gave me a description of the area that he was in. At least I think. And maybe if I go back there, he'll be gone, which would be great. But uh, if you want to avoid all that stuff, just teleport right here and then you can just climb all the way to the back by getting on these things and then teleport down here and then you're good. So, if you haven't done that and you're curious to see what's up with this thing, go ahead, go ahead, do it. Alright. And I think that's everything. Everything on this map, this island has been discovered. I never showed you guys that uh, inside here, there's this magic uh, lever. And I blessed it. And I went inside that place. And it's it's just the uh, Brachus Rex armory. There's nothing in it except for some nice XP. And that's pretty much it. This is the last thing that needs to be done on the island. And then we're free. Now let's talk to, uh, Gareth. Oh, I never got a close-up of this guy. Hm. Okay. Ugh. Excuse me. <laughs> I had to burp. <gasps> Gareth. Praise be! You have silenced the Shriekers and cleared our way. Yet it seems I'm in need of you again, my friend. Oh, great. You have any more miracles in you? Uh, tell him your strength only grows. You crave battle. Reluctantly ask what he needs from you. Oh my gosh, what, what do you need again? Gosh, man. <laughs> We've got a boat ready to row to Lady Vengeance. But if an Alexander sees Alexander sees us bobbing among the waves, we'll be shocked, chow. So we split up. I take the seekers to Lady Vengeance, you go to the ruins and keep Alexander busy. He'll be expecting a breeze. Show him your hurricane. Are you ready? We've got right on our side. A great er ally than any sulking geister and any whine, whining magister. Gosh, I can't read. Confirm that you're prepared for battle. Say that you need more time to prepare. Note that this is a dangerous task. Perhaps he could spare a few seekers to help you. I'm gonna need some seekers, buddy. I can spare a couple. They all walk with Lucian. They will see you through. 
What kind of seeker do you want at your side? Hmm. So, I will admit that I did go down to the, uh, meet the seekers and the geists on my own without any help and we got destroyed. I think I told you guys that actually. I don't remember. If I didn't, I'm telling you now. Got destroyed. But I do know that they have uh, two rangers, a geist, a magis magic magister guy, who is Alexander, and a swordsman. So, I have one magic person, a damage dealer, which is probably going to be the geist, so, and then a tank, I guess. It's not really a tank. The Red Prince is a tank! But he'll be my tank and substitute, and a range guy. So who am I missing? Uh, another swordsman would be helpful. Demand? I demand a melee fighter! Good. Uh, there's no shortage of seekers looking to skewer some magisters after what they did to us. Take your pick. Mm. Okay, say that Kerban seems hungry for vengeance. Yes! You want his sword fighting alongside you. Decide that Mattis looks like a good choice. His axe looks fearsome. Note that Claude and his club seems like a good choice. Tell him that you want Simon or Simone at your side. You have a good feeling about her. Simon or Simone? Say you want to see what other options there are first. Who else you got? Oh. Oh, never mind. Um, I'll take a Kerban. I like people uh, who want vengeance. Just as much as me. Good choice. He'll see that some magister blood is spilled on the sand, I'm sure. Firmly say that you've made your choice. I've made my choice! Firmly? That's... Oh, that's one. Who else do you want to join you? Ooh, I have more options. Nice. Um... Change my... No, no. Uh, hmm. What kind of seeker do you want at your side? I could use another... Um, another... Um, Elementalist would be good. Hmm. Crossbow, no. Wand and shield? Her magic could save lives. Oh, let's read them, actually. <laughs> Out loud. Uh, choose jewels. His wand and shield will be useful in the fight. State that you'd like Dugan and his crossbow at your side. Decide that you want... Samadel to join you in the battle. Her magic skills could save lives. Save you. Uh, say you want to see what other. No, no, no. I think I'm gonna pick Samadel. I like um. Her, I like Samadel. <laughs> Fine. She's yours. Uh, yeah. Firmly say you want. You've made your choice. I made my choice. All right. That's two seekers to fight alongside you. I can't spare her anymore. Are you ready to start the attack? Confirm that you are prepared for battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready for battle. Seek us. We move. You are Lucian's eyes and ears. You are, you are his sword and his shield. Burn the blackness with your holy fire. And All right. So I take it these guys are my guys? Let's go talk to- oh, never mind, let's not talk to them. They're coming down already. Is there another way I can get to these areas? Um... Crap. Crap, crap. Uh, uh summon. Summon guys, summon people. <laughs> I don't know how to do the, the pre-fight buffs. Oh, 
Let's disconnect people so we can have... I remember the first time we did this, we got surrounded. Alright. Take some height advantage. Height advantage. You go here. I oh, I guess they're following me. You go here. Um... You do... Let's see. Summon... Summon a guy right there. Come out. Gosh. We don't have a lot of time. Come out, I could. This. Good, good. I click. Uh. Now go. Go, 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 go. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh. Hello, Alexander. Mm, there you are, the escapee. I feared you'd made it to the Reaper's coast by now. Continue. I'm glad to see you've come to your senses. It will be great to, a great relief to lay this matter to rest. Not and say, not and lay a hand to your weapon. It most certainly will. Laugh in Alexander's face. He really thinks you're here to turn yourself in. Shout. You were shipped here like a rat in the galley and collared like a beast. He and his order need to be sh stopped. What? Is he gone? I heard a noise. I think my guy's gone. Not only hand it. It most certainly will. Look around you. You are outnumbered. Outmatched. For joy will be much more enjoyable for you if you return to it no worse for the wear. I don't want to hurt you, but I won't hesitate either. Tell him you're not going to back. You're not going back to Fort Joy. Tell him to go on. You love cutting down a condescending man where he stands. The more insufferable, the better. Say you imagine it will. He ought to step aside. Then, before he hurts himself. Oh, uh, step aside before you hurt yourself, young man. Uh, uh, when this is over, you realize how foolish you've been. I am only trying to help you. Don't you see that? Magisters, take the escapee back to the fort and... <gasps> Battle time! Ooh, I'm first. Alright. Horniness. Activate. Horny, yes! And then... Let's encourage the gang. Now... I want this guy. Oh. Oh. I can't put him on any high area, huh? Is there like a ladder back here that maybe you can climb up? Oh, there is. Er. But do I want to put him up there? I mean, I could. Who's next? This guy up here, right? Where is he? Hey, right, take it off. Okay. Oh, yes, it is him. I need a better angle. Where is... Okay, there's this guy. Uh, uh. Bleed fire, what? I think I just taught him this, by the way. Uh, enemies will bleed fire when it hit also creates a small fire small fire surface beneath each target and ignites surfaces in the area man this is going to cost me 3 turns you know what since i have this in my inventory let's bring Alexander, right as close as possible to me. Uh, 
I hope this doesn't backfire. Hello there, Alexander. Oh, I have two turns. And then... Smack him! Yeah. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Windwalker. Yes. Who's... Oh, about to say, who's this? Oh. Right. The heck was that? Tentacle Lash? <gasps> We're all wet now. Ouch. Don't. Don't hurt us. Don't. No. Oh. Okay, good. Good. Um. Alright, you're dangerous. You're super dangerous. I taught him this. By the way, I should never have taught this guy warfare. That was a huge mistake. Can I look at the skill book, by the way, just to show you guys? Look! No melee weapon equipped. No melee weapon equipped. I screwed the pooch on that one. Uh, I didn't realize that you needed the uh, melee weapons. Sucks. But at least I got him this? I guess it's good. Anyway, back to the battle. Let me read it. Really quickly. <gasps> Phoenix Dive, become immune to fire for one turn and leap toward the target position, dealing fire damage and creating a fire surface upon landing. <gasps> I like that attack. It's a very good attack. Uh, who to attack? Let's see, Sybil's gonna be next, and then Loesch. Let's see, what is Windwalker? Movement plus one, air resistance, teleport when hit. That's doesn't sound good. Oh wait, what's he immune to? Air. Oh that uh Okay, air. And you, what's what's your deal? Whoa! 24, 24. Earth is his only immunity. Is it now? This guy will teleport when we hit him, so let's avoid that. We want to keep him here. Um, you're not immune to. You're only immune to Earth. Let me think. Let me think. Um. Hmm. I could... Can poison a target does damage? Uh, I hope this doesn't do any splash... Ah, uh, it does do splash damage. Never mind. Um... Uh, freeze... Is a possibility? He's wet, right? How are they not wet? It's raining. I guess I'll just do a regular attack. Oh, it took a lot of his armor away. That's very nice. I need to get these guys off of their towers. have another guy over here. Yeah. Let's not do that either. I guess that's his turn. Ah. Uh, okay. Perfect. Now. Some of that sweet flesh. Let's clear that mine. A piece of mine. And then, what else can boost my damage? I don't know. But we need to get this guy. Are you kidding me? No, he's too far away. <sighs> hmm.
right here, pal. Right there. Missed one. Uh -oh. All right. He doesn't have any physical armor anymore. This guy's still pretty tanked. Not really, but options, options. These guys are pretty hurt. Where's my other? Oh, he's in there. He's in there. He's in her body. And the other one, where's Kurdan? There he's right there. I can't, uh. Oh, there he's Kurban. Physical armor? Wait a minute, this does... Oh, it's magic armor. Everything's magic armor on her, right? Saving throw. And magic armor, magic armor. Yeah, everything's magic armor. Um... So... What about this guy? Now, we should concentrate on this one guy. Hopefully... Now it's his turn. Or his turn. Wait, what? Where'd this guy come from? My turn. Wow. I, uh, didn't remember. I don't remember that there's an assassin, but okay. It's okay. What I need to do... Is get to him. And then turn him into a chicken. <gasps> oh, he's so close to death. Let's not do that. Let's just attack him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One down. The Geist is gone. That's good. Oh. Suffocating. Uh oh. Oh no. Let's see. They're minded uh, for sacrifice encouraged. Uh. Hmm. I can't pick, click on any individually. Some doll. Ooh. Jeez. I guess my options are I could at least try to get them out of their uh, frozen effect by I could use bless There's 
still chilled? Uh, crud. Nah. Dang. Hopefully this takes... Hopefully this takes down some of their magic armor at least. It doesn't do anything to their magic armor. That sucks. Damn it! I can move here and heal up a little bit because of the blessed floor, or I can move here and maybe later on absorb some of that. Blood. I'm gonna do this. Uh oh, what have I done? Heart of steel. Ah, yep. Her dance dead. I thought it would hit them both. Ugh. Crud. I think it hit him? No, it didn't. And... Oh. He'll probably die after this. Because he'll be in range of the the rangers. Well, let's do it. Take a risk. You're immune to fi fire, right? Too much. Uh, some of that armor. And... I'll leave it... here. Dang. They didn't really get to do much at all except take damage. It sucks. Alright. This guy, man. It's too much. I'm gonna use my special thing. Maybe I should give it to Sybil. She's a crazy damage dealer. And having her go twice in one turn is amazing. I'm gonna give it to her. 
And then... Mm. No, we don't need healing yet. This thing is a... Uh, uh, holy hand grenade will significantly heal anyone in a 4M radius. I'm gonna get this guy. In there. Sucks that, uh... Sybil doesn't have an attack of opportunity. No! What are you... Oh, the... Oh, no. What the heck? What the heck is this? I will drill. Yeah, you will die, all of you. Oh, do you see now? Your fool sorcery will be the death of us all. Tell him to shut up and fight. This creature won't discriminate between you. Shut up and fight, damn it! Um, I'm confused. Are they going to attack me now, still? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crap. Well, let's see what's... Uh, it's... Oh, boy. Okay. I can do water, air, and, um, I don't remember the other one. Water, air, and something. No! What have I done? Oh, you idiot. Uh, luckily I have this thing. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it here. And, uh, you guys can stay tuned. For part two of this, I guess, boss battle or something. It looks gross. And I love it. But that's it. I'm leaving on a cliffhanger, I guess. But uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Divinity Original Sin 2. I am Lazy Bones. And uh, take care of yourselves. Have many, many good ones, and uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see where this goes on the next episode. Thanks again. Bye bye. Bye.